a Federal Judicial Center orientation series for United States bankruptcy judges. A word of welcome to the federal judicial system with the Honorable Fern M. Smith, Director of the Federal Judicial Center and United States District Judge for the Northern District of California. On behalf of the Chief Justice and the Board of the Federal Judicial Center, I'm pleased to welcome you to this initial orientation seminar for United States bankruptcy judges. I've already met some of you, and I look forward to meeting the rest of you soon. At this point in your new career, your main interest is, and should be, in the substance of your responsibilities. But before this regional seminar gets underway, I'd like to speak briefly about the services of the Judicial Center and about the other agencies that work to make the federal courts operate effectively. The national policy of the federal judiciary is the sole responsibility of the Judicial Conference of the United States. The Chief Justice chairs the conference. Its members are the Chief Judge of each Circuit Court of Appeals and the Court of International Trade, and a district judge elected from each regional circuit. The conference meets twice a year in Washington. Much of its work is done through some 25 committees composed largely of circuit, district, bankruptcy, and magistrate judges. These committees consider issues relating to the court's budget, human resources, space and facilities, automation and security, as well as matters pertaining to the civil, criminal, bankruptcy, and appellate rules. The federal judicial system is too large and too diverse to be administered solely by a group of people sitting in Washington, D.C. That is why much of the system's operation is the responsibility of the judicial councils of the circuits. A circuit council is chaired by the chief judge of the circuit and includes an equal number of court of appeals and district judges. The councils monitor the state of business of the courts in the circuit, including any backlogs. They approve district court operating plans in such areas as jury utilization and court reporters. And they play a key role in acting upon complaints, charging a judge's disability or misconduct. The chief judge of the circuit also has the statutory duty to call a conference for all judges, usually with members of the bar, at least every other year. These circuit conferences are to consider ways to improve the administration of justice. They are also a valuable bridge between bench and bar and a source of ideas and innovations. There are two agencies within the judicial system that will primarily be of service to you throughout your judgeship. The Administrative Office of the U.S. Courts, usually known as the AO. It is managed by a director who is appointed by the Chief Justice after consulting with the Judicial Conference of the United States. The AO administers the federal court's budget. It is responsible for space, facilities, and personnel matters. It collects and publishes extensive statistics on all aspects of the judiciary's activities and supports the judiciary's automation programs and its libraries. This is only a brief outline of its activities. The annual report of the director further describes the work of the AO and it shows you the various ways that agency can be helpful to you. Now a word about the Federal Judicial Center. The center is the federal courts agency for continuing education and research on judicial administration. Its policies are set by a board chaired by the Chief Justice. The board's members are seven judges elected by the Judicial Conference of the United States as well as the director of the AO. The center provides orientation programs like this seminar, as well as numerous seminars, workshops, and other educational programs on a wide range of substantive and managerial topics. Center programs are developed to serve the needs of judges and their staffs. We will send you information about particular programs for judges as they're scheduled. You can also find information in our booklet, 
Services for Judges from the FJC, which we update annually. The Center, as well as the AO, produces television programs for judges and court staff, which are broadcast over the Federal Judicial Television Network, the FJTN. Both agencies also make extensive information available to you over the JNET, the Judiciary's intranet. Our annual report, a copy of which we earlier sent to you, provides details about the various facets of our work. You've also received our catalogs of publications and of audio-visual media programs. Although some periodicals will come to you automatically, all items in these catalogs are available to you upon request. If there's anything you need that we can provide, just ask us. If you have any comments or suggestions, just tell us. I end as I began by welcoming you to this orientation seminar. In a larger sense, I want to welcome you to the federal judiciary. Membership is a high honor. It is also a serious responsibility. Those who have come before you have served with courage, diligence, and dedication, and they have kept this judicial system viable, strong, and independent. Each of you has been given a unique opportunity to do your part and to serve our country. I know you will find it challenging and rewarding. I wish you well.